recreating the horror of war. How do you, as a composer, go about achieving that? Uh, I started out, uh, certainly in the uh, theatre production, um, just gaining a sense of, of what war does to people's lives. And um, the arc of it in the spirit story is that the uh, villagers in Devon uh, obviously haven't experienced war, they have no conception of what it's like, and in fact they think that the idea of it is rather fun, um, you know, all rather jolly. Uh, so there's it's quite sort of naivety there. Um, but what I wanted to do musically was to convey in some way uh, the sort of mincing up of their lives, uh, you might put it that way. So, um, in fact, I did that with some of the musical material, quite a lot of the musical material. So I would start with very bucolic, uh, you know, eidetic sort of sounds, you know, perhaps redolent of um, Vaughan Williams and that sort of sound. But those themes gradually throughout the whole piece get transformed into sort of engines of, um, of destruction. So that by the, by the time you're near the end of the story, it's just been reduced to a sort of brutal, mechanistic um, destruction really of, of, of people's lives. And so that's, that's what's in the head when I'm trying to find musical material, musical material to take and to change and, and to give, give an art to. Can I just question you? Because one of the most frightening pieces during the recording is when the tanks come. It's the realisation of the tanks, even if you kind of know what a tank looks like, somehow your music, it's quite unbearable actually. It's like absolutely fearful. It's really wonderful. Oh, thank you. Well, the, the, the idea behind the tank, actually, that's the sort of ultimate conclusion of this process of, uh, of, of, of human flesh and blood, sort of life, being squeezed out of everything, and it's now down to pure, brutal mechanistics. Um, it is just churning up the landscape and destroying people's lives and everything in its path. Um, and so musically, uh, everything is just reduced to bare, brutal rhythm and nothing else. So quite Stravinsky, actually, in some way, I suppose. So Joanna, you and Michael play all the characters in the narration.